in our body there are certain fluids present which collect and distribute important substances from and to different parts of the body so the first important fluid in our body is the blood this blood is present in the heart it is also present in certain blood vessels these blood vessels are arteries veins or capillaries the second important fluid of our body is the tissue fluid this tissue fluid is present in the intercellular spaces of the tissues and there it is mostly stationary whereas if we talk about blood blood is always moving it is never stationary but tissue fluid mostly stays within the cells of the tissues and the third important fluid is the limb this has many important functions in human body it is present in the lymph vessels and there are certain lymphatic organs such as spleen or tonsils so lymph is found very much at these places as well in our bodies blood is flowing in closed blood vessels that is why it is called a closed vascular system type of a circulatory system wherein blood is always flowing in special blood vessels for us it's arteries veins and capillaries but not all fluids in our body move like i told about tissue fluid so tissue fluid is mostly staying in the intercellular spaces of the tissues it is not moving much similarly there are certain other fluids that are non circulating even in humans for example there is vitreous humor so our eye the posterior part is filled with a jelly like fluid which is vitreous humor so that is non circulating it is not moving from its place or in the skeletal joints we have a fluid known as synovial fluid so that fluid again is a non circulating fluid it is not going to move however blood and lymph which are the major fluids in our body they move in specialized vessels that is why ours is a closed vascular system however if we talk about certain insect or some small animals in them these specialized blood vessels are not present so they have an open blood circulatory system they do not have blood vessels so blood directly flows in between the cellular spaces so such a system is an open blood circulatory system however for us it is a closed vascular system type of a circulation so in our body blood is never stationary blood is always in motion from one place to another from heart to arteries from arteries again to the veins from veins it again goes back to the heart so blood is always in motion let us learn more about blood and its composition